In the world of anime, there are incredible characters, both heroes and villains who possess powers beyond human imagination. These characters can destroy entire armies, level cities, and unleash destruction on a massive scale. Today, we'll explore the top 10 one-man army characters in anime who have shown remarkable strength and abilities. Meet Striga, a fierce leader of a ruthless vampire army and one of the queens of Styria. Clad in pitch black armor that resembles a crow, she wields a massive sword that can slice through humans effortlessly, reminiscent of a certain famous black swordsman. Striga is not just any vampire. She is immortal, a master strategist, and possesses superhuman abilities that surpass even her vampire kin. As she relentlessly slaughters farmers and peasants, showcasing her power and precision, the terrified humans can only brace themselves for their fate, waiting helplessly to become another victim of Striga's deadly sword. <laughs> As Mikizuki emerges from the rubble of his damaged Gundam, he reflects on his past. His enemies stare in horror as they witness the rebirth of a deadly force, the devil with blood dripping from his head. They made a grave mistake by not finishing him off when they had the chance. As the only pilot capable of unlocking the full potential of Barbados, even in a half-broken state, Mikizuki is a force to be reckoned with. His speed and relentless drive to kill allow him to slaughter anyone who stands in his way, hunting them down like prey. Despite the chaos of bombardments around him, he leaves a lasting impact on the battlefield, scattering corpses in his wake. Boy. Their appearance. Beneath the calm demeanor of this old gentleman lies a wicked persona that thrives. Shugaraki's journey has transformed him from a spoiled brat, leading a gang of misfits to the powerful head of an organization that has overthrown the hero society. Now fully awakened and stronger than ever, he is ready to unleash true despair on the heroes. With a red cape and a commanding presence reminiscent of Akira, he brings destruction wherever he goes. Using his decay quirk, he reduces heroes, villains, and entire cities to dust, reshaping the battlefield. As the embodiment of fear, Shigaraki has an endless array of quirks at his disposal, allowing him to adapt to any situation and defeat any opponent. Even in a quirkless state, he survives severe injuries and takes down numerous heroes, proving himself to be the ultimate villain. <laughs> Behind Makima's gentle facade lies a true devil, ready to strike at any moment. She combines the intelligence and cunning of Aizen with the ruthlessness of a berserk Kaneki. Her enemies experience a creeping unease that quickly escalates into terror as an unseen force crushes them to the ground, leaving many to wonder if she is somehow connected to the Pancake Devil. Makima's calm indifference, gentle smile, and lack of empathy towards both her victims and enemies heighten her intimidating presence. Even from Kyoto, she executes her foes in Tokyo effortlessly. The first time her powers are revealed, it only takes one name, one death, and one sacrifice to demonstrate her lethal capabilities. For anyone who stands in her way, there is no help, no escape, just a chilling sense of impending doom. <laughs> In Full Metal Alchemist, Father is undeniably the ultimate being, wielding immense power and knowledge thanks to the eye. Starting as a literal gas blob with just an eye and a mouth, he ascends to godlike power, allowing him to manipulate matter and energy at will. 
He can even create a miniature sun and handle it effortlessly. Father has the unique ability to perform alchemy without any movements, bending the laws of nature to his will. Even powerful attacks, like Mustang's flames, only earn him a glare of annoyance. Whether faced with bullets, explosives, or sheer brute force, Father remains unyielding and unbroken, showcasing his formidable strength. Saitama's incredible strength lets him disintegrate enemies with just one punch, and the only time he bleeds is in his dreams. However, these dreams reveal his deep desire for an epic, thrilling fight. In a battle against an entire species, he faces the subterranean creatures, who are not your average foes. They push him to use martial arts and survival instincts, something even planet-destroying aliens couldn't do. As the earth burns around him, Saitama rises from the flames, feeling a long-lost emotion, the excitement of a real fight. He then takes it upon himself to solve the subterranean overpopulation issue, proving that he truly is everyone's hero. In One Piece, there are many powerful characters, but none are as legendary as Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. He was one of the few who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Pirate King, Goldie Roger, even while battling Stage 20 Cancer. His mere presence summoned every Marine Admiral, Fleet Admiral, and Warlord, leading countless Marines to attack him with gun swords and devil fruit powers. Yet. Whitebeard stood tall and proud, refusing help. With a single swing of his weapon, without using hockey or devil fruit powers, he unleashed pure brute strength, sending thousands of marines flying. He could split the sky and tilt the seas, ultimately dying on his feet without a single scar on his back, proving his immense power and resilience. No other villain is as loved by anime fans and feared by characters as Aizen from Bleach. Without Ichigo's interference, he could have easily destroyed the entire supernatural society. Aizen remains calm even when facing the strongest fighters in the Soul Society, skillfully dodging and blocking every attack. His overwhelming superiority allows him to manipulate and bully Captain-class Soul Reapers using Hanamori as a pawn. When he gets serious, it takes just seconds for him to take down multiple Soul Reapers, turning them into mere targets in a deadly game. Aizen's diabolical genius and immense power rightfully earn him the title of one of the special war powers, solidifying his status as a top-tier villain. <laughs> A single colossal titan is like an entire army, as seen during the initial invasion of the Wall, which made many think Attack on Titan was a post-apocalyptic story. However, it turns out to be a pre-apocalyptic tale. Fast forward three seasons, and now the Walls are invading Marley. Despite the strongest cannons and mines of the global allied fleet, they stand no chance against the regenerating titans advancing and vaporizing the sea. Among these titans is Eren Jaeger, the inheritor of the attack and founding titans, moving forward with the intent to eliminate his enemies from the world. There is a place where the 